begin, I've printed off the Easy Peasy by Drops Design Pattern. And this pattern calls for a 10 millimeter crochet hook, but I only have the N 9.00 millimeter, so that's what I'm gonna be using. I also grabbed my scissors and this Wool Ease Thick and Quick by Lion Brand. It is a 106 yard skein of um, yarn here, and it is in the color Oatmeal. To begin, make a magic ring and a single crochet six into the ring. So to make my magic ring, I just create an open knot, just like this. I make sure I have a long tail so I can tie it off. Then you grab your crochet hook, place it inside the ring, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. Then grab the working yarn again and pull through to chain up one. Now we're going to be single crocheting six into this ring. So grab your working yarn and pull up another loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops for your first single crochet. So I have one and two. Three, four, five, six. Now you can double check that you have six single crochet by counting these V's on top of your work. So I have two, four, six, and I'm going to be removing my hook for just a minute while I cinch down the center. This magic ring, I'm just going to take the tail and put it to the back, and I'm going to grab that tail through the center. This front yarn I'll be pulling on, and this will close the ring. Now take the tail and pull it closed. Put your hook back into your work and slip stitch to your first stitch. To slip stitch, just take your hook and insert it into your first stitch. Grab your working yarn and pull that through and through for the slip stitch. To begin round one in the instructions, chain one and turn your work. We're going to place four single crochet increases evenly into our first six single crochet. To do that, we're going to first place two single crochet into this very first stitch. So I have one, two, then we're going to place two single crochet into the next stitch. One, two, one single crochet into the following stitch. two into the one after that, so an increase, two into the same stitch, again increase into the next stitch, two, and one into the last stitch. Now at this point we should have ten single crochet. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Slip stitch to your first stitch. I find this yarn is a little bit hard for that slip stitch. There we go. To begin round two, chain one and turn. Now work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. You should have ten single crochet in this round. At the end of round two, this is what my work looks like. We're going to chain one and turn for round three. Round three, we're going to single crochet increase four again evenly into the work. At the end of this round, for this size, you will have 14 single crochet. To do this, we're going to first single crochet into our first stitch, and we're going to do an increase, so I'm going to place two into the first stitch. Single crochet one into the next stitch, increase into the following stitch two single crochet into the same stitch. Single crochet into the next two stitches. One, two. Increase into the next stitch. One, two into the same stitch. Single crochet into the next two stitches. It's one in that stitch. One in the next stitch. And this will be our last increase increase into the next stitch. So we have two into the same stitch. We're going to end here with just one single crochet into the last stitch. We're going to slip stitch 
to our first single crochet to join the round. I'm going to double check that I have 14. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 stitches for round 3. To begin the next round, chain 1 and turn. Now for the next 5 rounds, we will be going in one direction without turning and after the end of each row, we will be slip stitching to join. Just place one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. You should have 14 stitches for each round. At the end of the five rows, I will meet back up for the next step. This is how my slipper looks at the end of the five rounds. To begin the heel, we will be working back and forth over the next 11 stitches in this size and for 12 rows. To begin, chain one and single crochet into the same stitch. Now that will count as one and we're going to single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So we need 11 total. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now chain one and turn. That will be round one and we need twelve rounds for this size. So I'm going to be single crocheting into that very first stitch for the next round. And then place just one single crochet into each of the eleven stitches. We're going to continue this, as I said, for twelve rows. And when that is finished, we can meet back up to finish off the heel. This is my slipper after the 12 heel rows. I'm now going to be seaming up the heel, which first I take it like this and I fold it backwards. I then slip stitch up here and fasten off. This way, when I turn it like this, the heel will be much more neat than if I just slip stitched from here. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to fold it in towards me like this. And I'm just going to grab those stitches here and I'm just going to slip stitch. Inserting my hook, grabbing my yarn and pulling it through and through all the way down the slipper. At the end, I'm just going to grab my scissors, snip my yarn, pull that tail through so I can sew it in later. And then I'm just going to turn it right side out just like this. And that is what it looks like. Now the next step is to single crochet an edge all the way around your slipper to make sure it looks nice and finished. I'll be joining my yarn in the back of my slipper here right at the seam. Chaining one and I'll be turning because I want the stitch to be on the right side. I'll be then single crocheting evenly all around the top of my slipper. So just as evenly as possible just placing a single crochet all the way around the edge. At the end, I will show you what this looks like. Here's what my slipper looked like after the single crochet round and also sewing in my ends. After crocheting the first slipper, crochet a second slipper to match. Also, if you'd like a smaller opening, just add a couple more rows to the edge of your slipper. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like it, comment on it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Have a lovely crochet day, and I will see you all in the next tutorial.